Hey everyone and welcome to The Year Was, the podcast all about today that gives you just enough information to effectively be that guy at the party, causing all your friends to question, hey, who invited you? Like, seriously, why are you here? I'm your host Michael Montalvo and for the next few minutes we will open history's door and find out what makes today truly unique. On this episode, we examine the events that occurred December 18th. I want to call back to a previous episode and mention that today is the day that in 1965, Frank Borman and Jim Lovell splashed down, making it safely back to Earth after their two-week mission aboard Gemini 7. This month has a surprising number of space stories in it, so I'm actually going to do an extra episode this month, and in order to commemorate the whole thing, I'm officially dubbing December Space Month. Not to be confused with Smash Mouth, who of course gave us the musical masterpiece we all know and love from the early 2000s, Holiday in My Head. In what is now Part 2 of Space Month, we will be doing a Radopiare episode and talk about Dos photos. It's all about the twos. First up is John William Draper, not to be confused with Donald Francis Draper, no relation. John Draper was born in England May 5, 1811, and he studied in London. But in 1832, he, his mother, his wife, and his sisters all set sail for America. They would all settle in Mecklenburg County, Virginia, and he began his scientific research in his own lab. But what kind of research? Well, in 1839, he began a race with Samuel F.B. Morse to be the first American to apply the photography techniques by Louis Dugar in America. In December 1839, he was able to, and is credited with, capturing the first clear image of a female face. And here's where things start to get a bit muddled. The year was 1839, and on this day, John Draper was able to capture the first celestial photograph of the moon made in the U.S. in New York City. Kind of. Some sources claim it to be in 1839, while others say it was more likely to have happened in 1840. The moon had always been a bit of a diva, and getting a photo early on was very difficult. All through the winter of 1839 and 1840, he tried to make a Dugariotype photo of the moon and by all accounts had little to no success. Until March 23rd, 1840, where by all accounts he was able to confirm success and obtained a focused image of the moon. As good as we can guess, the image used for the thumbnail was the photo made by Draper. So it really comes down to what we want to believe. We all have to channel our inner Fox Mulder. Realistically, he probably did get a photo of the moon in December 1839. It would have just been blurry or overexposed. Not a good photo. But it was on this day that it is alleged William Draper took the first photo of the moon in the USA. Next up on our list is Bond, William Cranch Bond. William Cranch Bond was born September 9, 1789 in what is now Portland, Maine. He and his son George Phillips Bond actually discovered Hyperion, the eighth satellite of Saturn, and the inner ring C, but that's for another day. He was largely self-educated and was actually a watchmaker, but became interested in astronomy after the solar eclipse of 1806. So what did he do with his newfound passion? He built a home observatory that was actually one of the finest built in the United States at the time. He would go on to discover a plethora of comets, and for these efforts he was appointed as the first astronomical observer at Harvard College in 1839. Psst, remember what else happened in 1839? He would then be named the first director of the Harvard Observatory in 1847 and then elected an associate of Britain's Royal Astronomical Society in 1849, the first American to receive this honor. It was actually 1849 that he did something else. William Cranch Bond and John Adams Whipple had begun to experiment with astrophotography while at Harvard. 
One of the things that they were interested in was celestial objects, obviously, and a Dugario-type photography. The year was 1849, and on this day, December 18th, William Cranch Bond and James Adams Whipple obtained the first photograph of the moon through a telescope. They did this using Harvard College Observatory's 15-inch refractor with a 40-second exposure. Camera and telescope people will appreciate that. At the time, the telescope was only one of two that were of the largest in the world, and the Dugario types were the best up to that point. The Dugario types were put on display at the 1851 Great Exhibition of the Crystal Palace in London, where they were awarded a prize medal. It's interesting that they wouldn't be awarded the prize medal. It only got a prize medal, but what do I know? Also, what's with the name William and astronomers? William Herschel, John William Draper, William Cranch Bond, William Bill Nye, Neil Liam deGrasse Tyson? Seems like a pattern. But that's going to do it for us today. If you like this podcast and want to hear more, give us a rate and a review. That helps me out and helps me steer this in a direction that is hopefully good for all. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can find the audio version on your podcast app of choice. Links in the description. You can find me on social media and at YouTube at the Apple Cider Club. And as always, I want to thank the Tim Kreitz Band for our musical theme and to thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. Okay.